Hello YouTube, I'm uh, making some dinner again, and uh, tonight I'm making fettuccine alfredo with peas, and I was going to put some bacon in, but I don't have any bacon, but anyway, let me bring you up to speed about what I've done. I put a couple of tablespoons of butter into a frying pan, and to that I've added some onions and some garlic, and... As you can see, they are sautéing away nicely there. Now then, <clears throat> you want to get these sautéed until they are just about translucent. They're just about ready to go. Now then, also, boiling some water for the pasta. The water is actually boiling. I'm just not ready to put the pasta in yet because the sauce is not ready. I've also got over here one cup of grated parmesan cheese and some frozen peas I like using frozen peas better than canned peas excuse me I was I'm plugging the wire back in there I like using the frozen peas instead of canned peas because I find canned peas get kinda mushy it looks like the onions are getting ready to have the cream added now half and half works just about just as good as any old heavy cream will so I'm gonna use that now, you should add, you know, three quarters of a cup to a cup. Make sure that's good. You know, just add it until, you know, you get it to just about where you think you've got enough cream. I'm not really that picky about measurements, right? Let's see. There you go. See? I think we could add a little bit more cream in there. There. That's the right amount of cream. Give it a little stir. Now then, you want to bring that to a boil. Alright, now is the time where we can add the pasta into the water. So what we want to do, turn that down. Got the pasta. How much do we how much are we gonna cook, huh? I guess there's not very much left in this here box, so we put it in. Pasta in the pot. Let's get this that down in there. And by the way, you want to have salted that water, which I in fact forgot to do. Do it now. A little bit of salt. You know, it would be better if you could be seeing what I was doing. So, anyway, here's the action shot. By the way, the last cooking video that I did, I was in my uh, parents' apartment in the city, so you'll notice that this here kitchen is is very, uh, it's a lot less, uh, how should you say, decadent than the other kitchen. I have this little stove here, you know, it does what it needs to do. Okay, now then, you can see that that is coming up and it is starting to bubble. So. We're going to add some salt and some pepper to that. Make sure you get the action shot. A little bit of salt. That was too much, so I'm going to sprinkle it in. Huh? Pepper. I like pepper. And also that pepper grinder doesn't ground too much, so you got to do it a lot. Anyway, all right, now it is time for the peas. By the way, that pasta takes about seven minutes, says the box. Seven minutes. Anyway, get some peas. We're going to put that into, the, into our sauce here. Stir this in. Now then. We're gonna let that cook there for a little bit. Look how yummy that looks, hmm? Hmm? The peas there and that almost Alfredo sauce. It's cooking away, cooking away. Okay, so the peas have been in there for about, you know, two minutes or so now. So I'm gonna add this here. Nice grated Parmesan cheese. There's about a cup here. Not exactly a cup, but what looks to be like a cup to me, 
if it were on a plate. So, we're going to add this in. Throw in that Parmesan cheese. Now, you got yourself an Alfredo sauce right here. Give that a good stirring, you know? Good stirring. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes now, definitely. And the pasta is ready. So I'm going to give it a good old straining. Got my strainer here. Take it over. Dump it in the sink. Alright, so when you drain your pasta and you've been making a cheese sauce here, you want to make sure you get all the water out of the pasta because you don't want that water to be getting in your nice cheese sauce mix, which is nice and thick. You don't want that to be getting all watered down. So anyway, move the cheese sauce over. We've got that pan here, and I'm just going to move that fettuccine into there. Alrighty, so they're getting all nice and covered in the sauce here. Give it, you know, a little flip there, get everything covered. You want to put it in here for like, I don't know, 30 seconds. Move the camera a little bit for you so you can see the deliciousness of what is actually happening here. There we go. If only it had some bacon in it, it would be one heck of a meal. Got a plate. Checking out the action shot. All right, so here we have it. Lovely fettuccine Alfredo. Now I'm going to go, let me taste this for you right in front of the camera here before I go enjoy it. Mmm, that's good. See ya.